hi guys welcome back to the channel for another video and this is the first video of this year so if the video was helpful do like and share it so today i am with the 2023 hyundai grand i10 neos facelift version and that's the car sitting right behind me there is also another version this is the base spec magna and this is the top spec esta i'll be explaining more in details about the car with the esta variant that is the top spec variant because it gets all the bells and whistles that hyundai has to offer with this car and before starting thanks to krishna hyundai jorat for allowing me to get my hands on the car if you want to go for any hyundai car or this new grand item neos facelift or even the aura facelift 2023 variant or version then the showroom details are given in the description below you can book an appointment for uh, looking at the car and also book a test drive then go for your uh, hyundai car and get great deals over any hyundai car that you want to buy and also before starting if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell notification icon to get notified every single time i upload a new video to this channel also don't forget to follow me on instagram and facebook and in this video i will be explaining details about the changes that hyundai has made to this car to keep it updated with uh, compared to its rivals and that i'll be showing you in details so without wasting any further time let's get started so this is the 2023 hyundai grand i10 neos facelift version and this is the top spec asta variant but before going into details about the car let's talk about its pricing details the hyundai has priced the grand i10 neos here at Jorhat. the on-road price for the base spec era model starts at 6.69 .6 lakhs on-road and the top spec asta variant that is this it starts at 9.19 lakh on road that is the on road pricing and it's obviously available in Terra, magna sports and esta this is the top spec esta variant as i already mentioned you before in this video so now like always starting with the key fob here is the key fob that hyundai is going to offer with the grand i10 neos facelift variant so this is similar to the pre facelift model the key fob like you have seen uh, on the pre facelift model or any other hyundai car and yeah it looks decent enough it looks good there are three buttons lock button unlock button and a dedicated button to unlock the tailgate of the car and obviously there is no dedicated follow me headlamp button but this variant the esta variant comes with automatic headlights so if you keep the light in auto position when the when you lock or unlock the car the headlights will glow up automatically and now coming to the car itself this is the front face of the car let me just give you a glimpse very nicely and yeah the front bumper and also the rear bumper has been reworked. i'll come to the rear in a bit but let me first talk about the front bumper the headlight design is similar to the pre facelift model projector halogen headlight design not led headlight but it's projector halogen headlight and there is the halogen turn indicator little bit of chrome uh, bits are inside the headlight to make it look sporty then the bonnet itself gets these cuts and creases which looks very smart now coming to the main uh, changes that hyundai has done is this the bumper now it comes with piano black finished grille and yeah it looks really nice it looks sporty then there is this uh, tri arrow type drls then there are some vents here you can see i have lit it up right now and obviously as i've already told about the headlights these are not led projector headlights but halogen projector headlights and obviously halogen turn indicators so only the rear tail lights are led and the drls obviously are led earlier the drls were placed somewhere here around here like a boomerang shaped drl but now the drls have been changed to tri arrow shape and the fog lights have obviously been uh, removed so serious cost cutting has been done and what do you think mention in the comment below if uh, hyundai should have removed the fog lights from this car or not as there is no projector led headlight like you have seen on the new venue there are projector led headlights so even without a halogen uh, fog lamp it kind of works but in this i think there might be a little bit of issue while driving uh, at like a night in foggy condition now moving to the side profile the side profile of the car is similar to the pre facelift model now the wheel size are like uh, before it's 15 inches 175 section tire and obviously 15 inch then diamond cut dual tone uh, alloy wheels is given so the side profile 
let me just show you it is similar to previous gen car obviously the window line goes up like this and here it goes here so uh, grand item badging is done here in uh, gloss finish then there are different types of hexagonal textures here and there so this is the side profile of the car and talking about the dimension i don't want to make it long so here is the list of the dimension of the car every single details so coming to the driver side door here you can see a request button also there is a keyhole here if the battery goes down then you can uh, use that uh, to unlock the car obviously the request sensor keyless entry exit is there but the request button is only on the driver side door the request button like you've seen on other marty suzuki cars is not in the code driver side door so there it is now coming to the ORVM, these are electronically folding but not auto folding electronically folding and here you can see led turn indicators are mounted on the top spec car and obviously body colored ORVM is there in the top spec Asta variant now coming to the rear profile of the car so this is how the rear profile of the uh, grand item neos will look and it looks great than before the tail light now earlier the previously model the tail light look kind of like uh, i don't want to say but i have to while i am doing the comparison like tata tiago the rear tail light but now it looks great this portion the tri type just like the design has been taken from the front uh, DRL so this one lights up and this is LED this portion and yeah it really looks nice when it lights up so wrap around that tail light is there there is the brake light here which is halogen obviously there is the turn indicator halogen there is the reverse light which is also halogen obviously there is a light bar here but it doesn't illuminate earlier I have thought that this one illuminates but it doesn't then a reverse parking camera is there then there is the new hyundai logo which i forgot to show in the front the hyundai logo now really looks nice uh, and this is much slicker than before obviously brushed finish it's look much premium brushed aluminum finish is there so this one looks really very premium than before the new hyundai logo earlier it was like 3d emblem but now it's brushed finish now coming to the rear again i have not finished yet so there is washer wiper in the top spec car then there is also defogger element defogger element will also be available in the uh, sports variant uh, and also washer wiper then there is the high stop mount brake light there is the shark fin antenna and obviously uh, talking about the lights itself again so this portion as i have already told you uh, doesn't illuminate uh, just like you have seen on the venue it's there but it doesn't illuminate so i think lots of uh, customization will be done there in uh, the delhi area or noida area but okay then now grand item badging done here again brushed aluminium finish is there the this logo things are kind of very uh, premium now then esta badging is also done here then neos badging just like the previous sleeve car is done here i in blue color so really very quirky then obviously uh, the rear bumper has also been reworked and it's much is sportier now so there is the rear reflector then diffuser type element just like you have seen on the i20 is there so diffuser type element which doesn't aid in any uh, aerodynamic efficiency but yeah uh, aesthetically this looks very really very nice and obviously number plate uh, or license plate section is here then twin parking sensors as i can see here one two there are no front parking sensors obviously there is a rear parking camera here and now talking about the boot this is electronically holding so if i press the button it unlocks and then you have to pull it up so the boot space is around 260 liters and if you fold the rear seat so by folding the rear seat this is a bench type rear seat not 60 40 split like you have seen on other car the boot space will increase then you can put much more luggage seat goes down then you can remove this partial shelf and the boot space will increase now so there is a light here which is not led it's halogen for the boot space and talking about the spare wheel itself it's under here and it's not a full size unit it's only 14 inch sir and it is a steel rim alloy wheel is not offered obviously so that's everything about the boot space so let's now close the door and then go inside and talk about the interior a bit then there is the fuel filler cap here obviously this is like you have to unlock it from the driver side door not magnetically holding just you have seen on the identity and obviously this car has been made keeping the 
cost in mind but even then the cost has increased i will explain that uh, after i show the interior where the cost has increased now putting the seat back before i sit inside but before going inside let me show you the doors the door gray color all plastic as you can see dual tone finish is there gray black color elements some uh, hexagonal textures are there this is not chrome finish but yeah silver satin type finishing is there and these are plastics obviously then door mounted speaker is there one liter bottle holder on every door it's there so practicality is decent enough then yeah no scuff plating on the door sills here then obviously the ingress degress is not very great because this is a city car but even then big people can enter and my height is around 5'5 five five, so i am really very comfortable so let me just get inside and show you more in details so yeah the bench seat is there not 60 40 split obviously two headrests are there for both the side passengers and there is no headrest for the middle passenger and obviously this car is not set for three people but yeah three people can sit obviously a child in the middle and two adults on this side will be much more comfortable and again adjustable headrest are there for the both the side adult passengers which is really great but there is no armrest even on the top spec car and obviously the seat materials have also been uh, like uh, improved than before so there is fox leather around the edge then there is the this uh, fabric material here and obviously this will be prone to getting dirty but again you will put on some nice fox leather seat covers so child isofix child seat mount is there as you can see here in in terms of safety then middle passenger doesn't get a proper seat belt but proper seat belt on the side here and obviously uh, let me close the door and show you how it feels inside the cabin so yeah the window line here goes up so it doesn't make it very claustrophobic but again this comes in your sight when you are like leaning back like this and again there is a door handle here then there is another door handle here then uh, top mount ceiling mounted light is here the material or the uh, lining on the ceiling is decent enough not really very good for talking about the price of this car then again there are rear ac vents for passenger comfort there is a 12 volt socket here hopefully the camera will not cover but there is a 12 volt socket here there is a very little bump in the middle section here and again talking about the headroom my height is around 55 for me the headroom is good and again talking about the seat comfort the seat is like uh, lean to the back nicely so the back comfort is good and under thigh support for me is great but for a tall person it might be a little bit of issue but for me for a short person uh, under thigh support is good there is enough leg room for me even though the front seat is back but yeah the knee room is really very good because the front seats are scooped out uh, even if the front there a six feet person is sitting and if you slide the seat towards the extreme position to the back uh, even then the knee room will be great so yeah that's everything about the rear sitting comfort it's decent enough talking about the price point in this segment it's good uh, and again there are other cars which are much better in rear comfort and all those things but even then uh, hyundai granite nios is known for good uh, ride comfort then that's there is the all new dashboard design so the meter console has been changed i will show that in a bit there are much more features added to this car on the for the front uh, passenger safety so obviously airbag let me show you it's there so yeah uh, four airbags as standard in this car so let me just close this door and go to the front or the interior and show you more in details about this car request sensor is there so let me just open the door chrome door handles obviously a really very premium feature here but for me chrome doesn't work and this is actually a personal choice if i get this car i will wrap this in totally black color so that is my style then again talking about the front door again hard plastic no soft touch material at all controls are like the pre facelift model obviously this has been carried out from like uh, before uh, and you can see it in any hyundai car satin finish like uh, door handle is there these are not chrome then obviously these are for the orvm controls these are electronically folding let me just turn on then yeah these are electronically folding if i press this button here 
so this folds electronically and again folds out and obviously you can adjust this uh, like the mirror view from inside itself and again one touch uh, driver one touch down driver window is there there is no one touch up but one touch down is there one touch up is not there so i have to put it like this to pull it up and again all power window is there one liter bottle holder door mounted speakers on all the doors as i've already shown you so before getting inside let me show you more what are the things that hyundai has added so now there is traction control or electronic stability control is there you can turn it off and on like this then headlight leveler switch is there push uh, start ignition switch is there so this ac vents has been carried from the pre facelift model and this really looks nice and premium just like on any mercedes car you have seen <laughs> so yeah design uh, things has been carried out and obviously few things have been like carried out from before the front seats are bucket type seats obviously and these are comfy enough as i've already seat in here and yeah there is no adjustable headdress for the front passengers and driver seat but yeah you have the front driver seat gets uh, height adjustability feature and as i've already told you this will get prone to dirty because of the color the materials for the upholstery that has been used and again let me just uh so you more the pedal condition so this is a manual car obviously i'll come to the engine and transmission in a later part in this video and there is also ambient light blue color light that has been added obviously this is the fuse and obd box so let's get inside and talk more about the driver comfort and all those sorts of things so before going into the instrument consolation let me talk about the seat comfort and safety features in this car that hyundai has added now so my height is around 55 and i can easily adjust the seat by like increasing the height for my reach to the pedals and again the seat the headroom is really very good in this car so decent headroom then the seat comfort is also good the back support the lumbar support the under thigh support the driver seat is really very good even tall person will be comfortable in this car then again the driver side seat belt and even the co-driver side seat belt are not height adjustable height adjustable could have been given talking uh, like seeing the price of this car even in the top spec when it should be given then there are airbags four airbags as standard across all the models so to increase the safety uh, with the current uh, safety norms four airbags has been given across all the models then there is side curtain seat uh, airbags so here you can see for both the front passenger side curtain type airbag is there airbag also written here obviously two airbags are there on the steering and on the dashboard talking about other amenities there is no armrest here there is a manual handbrake two cup holders one is small one is big there is no air purifier just you have seen on other hyundai car and that is also a premium feature and the way the uh, hyundai give their uh, uh cars with air purifier it takes up a lots of space then coming to the other parts obviously again hard plastic and yeah lots of textures are here dual tone finish is there cool glove box is there uh, here you can adjust the cooling flow air flow to the glove box obviously there is some uh, compartment here to keep uh, your uh, phones and all for the co-driver then again there is wireless charging that has been added to this car so if i put my phone here the phone immediately starts charging so 83 percent is showing 29 minutes until full charge is showing and the way the wireless charger works is that the 12 volt socket has been like used uh, with quick charge 3 uh, power adapter so when you connect this the wireless charger starts working and yeah with this there you get additional usb uh, type a port then there is a usb fast charging type c port then again one more usb type c port and these are all illuminated coming to other thing the ac vents on the middle looks nice the button fields are also really good these are like hazard uh, light buttons then auto ac is there and the ac is a really very good unit that hyundai give it's a chiller then obviously auto ac the blower works like this then every knobs the uh, feel is really very good and tactile obviously there are buttons for the modes and all those sorts of things are the different mode for the air flow and all those sorts of off with this button you can turn off this uh, then there is the gear lever obviously not uh, leather wrap but little bit of aluminium finishing is there which makes it a touch very premium and it feels really sporty while holding this you feel good obviously five speed uh, gearbox is there then again footwell uh, 
illumination as i have already told you now coming to the infotainment system this is the new 8 inch infotainment system that hyundai is provided and hyundai infotainment system are one of the best in this segment even if you consider this car uh, like it competes with uh, maruti suzuki swift maruti suzuki ignis then tata tiago so these are the cars that i think it competes with and it has one of the best infotainment system that i can say and the controls are also really very good so uh, to volume the, to control the volume you have to like you get a perfect knob and this doesn't make it any distraction i'll show you how the sound in this car uh, like the sound quality of the factory fitted speaker if you like put the car into reverse also uh, the picture quality is really very good so you can see not adaptive guidelines but yeah it works it works really very nice considering other cars in this segment the infotainment system the display quality is really very good it's very sleek enough and obviously android auto apple carplay is there then there is the uh drvm unable when the car is parked so you have to start the car then again voice command is there so all those sorts of features are there i don't want to make the uh, video very long so whatever features that are added that i am showing wireless charging already shown you uh, auto ac is there so right now i have connected my phone to this infotainment system of the 2020 grand i10 neos facelift and let's play a song in my phone i've connected via bluetooth let's play a song and see how the sound quality of the factory fitted speaker is is this what giving up feels like i don't know i don't know Tell me if I lost my mind Nowhere to go So far from home Is this what giving up feels like? So obviously the sound quality is decent i won't say it won't work at this price point it could have been a little bit better but yeah okay the sound quality is decent enough it will work you don't have to go for like aftermarket sound but if you want to go you can go there is no denying in that but yeah it will work for like a normal kind of uh, person who is going to buy this car this will obviously work and obviously there are many more settings here as if i go to menu then sound setting can change there is equalizer the position of the sound where you want to listen then equalizer obviously i told you again the treble bass the quality is decent as i've already mentioned now coming to the instrument cluster this has been updated let me just turn it off and turn on again so so there is a lcd display in the middle and yeah this is not color tft but uh, it's kind of black and white which is a disappointment uh, but again it works now it's currently showing that the driver side door is locked so let me just uh, turn on the blower a bit because it's really very getting very hot inside the car and again the instrument cluster uh, is now fully analog there is a, a small four or three inch actually uh, lcd display in the middle and yeah to the right side there is the analog speedometer along with a fuel meter which is also analog which is really very good because analog meter shows the correct information then to the left there is a analog tachometer along with the heat meter and yeah other tilt -til lights are there check engine light handbrake light is applied so low fuel light is there then there is the battery voltage seat belt then uh, obviously again oil pressure light is there so lots of tilt -til lights and uh, abs light all those sorts of things you will see once you turn on the or turn on the car or put the ignition on then again coming to the tft screen all the controls are there in this new uh, steering now talking about the steering wheel the steering wheel is really very nice in the touchback car you get leather wrap steering wheel obviously really very premium to touch obviously the hyundai logo is really very nice in the middle brass the aluminum finishing is there to this side there are steering mounted control for the infotainment display to this side there is controls for the mid this one is for the mid here is cruise controls yes hyundai is equipped the 2023 grand at neos facelift and the aura facelift with cruise control that is a great feature and obviously with this you can control the mid there that i will show in a bit 
bit three spoke steering wheel obviously there is like a satin type finishing in here airbag obviously written there no flat bottom steering wheel although but there is adjustment like tilt adjustment is there but there is no telescopic adjustment only tilt adjustment is there then again talking about the stocks the headlight stock here in the touchback car also gets auto function as you can see here already headlight function is there then to the left side there is the rear washer wiper and also rear washer wiper control is also mounted to the same stock this stocks feels sturdy but doesn't feels really very nice to touch they are really very rough edges here and there so hyundai considering the price of the car should improve this and again talking about the mid here with this button you can see the controls of the mid and yeah here if i press this button the mid keeps on changing and obviously uh, there is the drive information so uh, average fuel economy if uh, distance to empty uh, average uh, speed that you are driving then temperature total uh, average fuel economy while you are driving this will be shown only while you are driving then temperature meter is also in digital here like the outside temperature so if i press the button again there is a tire pressure monitoring system so in terms of safety the tire pressure monitoring system is also given in the 2023 hyundai grand atten neos facelift then there is settings for the doors like locks and all the sorts of stuff then there is lights then service interval other features and again for if i go into the light then there is the ambient light brightness then also the display brightness all those sorts of features are there then again uh, other sorts of things like lock unlock of the car all those sorts of settings are there and yeah so there is the illumination and okay so let me just uh, go back and now coming to other features about the interior there is a uh, sunset here and if i put the sunset to this side it doesn't really helps in in this way but yeah from the front it should really help its uh, decent size and obviously there is a ticket holder here no vanity mirror for the driver then coming to this sunset there is a vanity mirror for the co-driver and obviously there is no auto fold auto uh, dimming inside rear view mirror it is manually dimming as you can see i am manually uh, doing this thing with the spring then there is a mic placed here there is the top uh, mounted uh, roof light here that's everything uh, about the interior of the Hyundai Grand i10 Neos facelift now let us go outside and let me show you what Hyundai has offered in terms of uh, powertrain with the Grand i10 Neos facelift so there you can see the engine bay of the 2023 Grand i10 Neos facelift variant and there is no insulation in the hood itself as you can see here the hood quality the materials are used decent enough nowadays car manufacturers are known to uh, reduce weight of the car to increase the fuel economy now talking about the fuel economy you have to come to the engine itself so hyundai will now offer the grand atten neos and also the aura i'll come to the aura in a bit that's the car sitting right there and uh, in another video so talking about the grand atten neos facelift variant 2023 version only a single engine option will be uh, uh, provided now by hyundai for this car and unfortunately the 1.2 liter diesel engine and the 1 liter turbo petrol engine have been totally discontinued because of newer emission norms and also the 1 liter turbo petrol engine was not selling much but that was the only car in this segment to get a 1 liter turbo petrol engine with a manual gearbox a hyundai all other cars with the turbo petrol engine you get with either imt or dct so almost automatic fully automatic you will get with the turbo petrol engine but this was only the car and kind of hot hatch you can say so now talking about this engine this is the k 1.2 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine uh, update has been made considering uh, newer emission norms so the catalytic converter has been like upgraded and also in terms of power figure there is no change it mm, roughly is still like the pre-facelift model it still makes 83 ps of power and around 113 newton meters of torque and this car or this engine uh, this car with this engine is also offered in a cng variant the cng variant makes lesser power like around 72 horsepower and 98 newton meters of torque and now the there is like five speed manual gearbox with this car there is also an amt variant of this car the cng will also get with only manual and yeah obviously talking about the engine itself uh, the engine is really very smooth in this car if you have given the a hyundai like before with the same engine that's it's really very smooth there is no noise at all so there is no need of insulation on the so on the 
hood itself but the firewall insulation there because the uh, heat will go inside so there is the abs motor and obviously uh, other things are there like before so decent enough so that was everything about the hyundai grand i10 neos facelift variant 2023 version and yeah if the video is helpful for you don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family and yeah if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell notification icon to get notified every single time i upload a new video to this channel also don't forget to follow me on instagram and facebook so that's it for today bye